So in uh, December, I was in health class and my friend Callie, who's actually a bridesmaid, she told me about this boy at her sister-in-law's house and he goes to Cornell. She said, you should really meet this guy. She said, he's pretty tall and he goes to Cornell, he's from Arizona. I think you'd really like him. So I just took matters in my own hands. Two days later, there was a co-Cornell basketball game at Cornell. And I said, I'm gonna go to this game. I'm gonna bring Katie, one of my other bridesmaids, and we're gonna see him in person. And then I saw him and I was like, holy smokes. I, I need to get to know this guy. She made the first move. About a day or two later, she messaged me on Facebook. And she was like, she messaged me, she said, hey. And I said, hey, and then about 20 minutes later, she said, I, sorry, I didn't really plan this conversation out after this. I was like, I was not expecting you to respond to me. So you said, what's, what's up? up? And I said, oh, nothing, sorry, I didn't plan out what to say <laughs> after this. And then we started talking, and then I asked him if he wanted to go to my high school boys' basketball game with me for a date. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, on our first date, we, um, I picked him up to the gate to go to the game, and then we went back and we went to his dorm and we watched The Longest Yard while he made us popcorn. And then I asked him if he'd ever seen this bridge. Um, Cause I said, it's it's a pretty cool bridge. Um, people really like it in town. He's like, no, I've never seen it. I said, let's go. It's like probably 10.30 at night yeah. and we walked to the bridge here and um, we were just looking around and then he, then he pulled me in and he kissed me. <laughs> that was our first kiss yeah. on the bridge here. On our first date, what were you thinking? Must have went really well. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably long distance for three years. Three years, yeah. Yeah. So it was just after, right after I graduated I, or college, I was looking for a job anywhere and everywhere. I, I just happened to come across this job in Manhattan, Kansas and uh, I applied for it and got the job there, so then I just kind of moved out there on a hope and a prayer. So seven hours away. So uh, I remember the first time he came to visit me after we had distance and he got in late at night and he got to my apartment and he brought me flowers and I started crying and he was tearing up too just because we had missed each other mm -hmm. so much. And, um, <laughs> And um, so when he would come visit me, he would work three to midnight on Friday, get up at like 7 a.m. Saturday, and then he would drive to come see me. He'd get here at three in the afternoon on Saturday, and then he would leave at three in the afternoon on Sunday. So he was here for 24 hours, and he drove 14. So that just, you know, I could not believe this man was doing that to visit me. <laughs> And that just showed how dedicated he was and committed. But every time he would leave me, I would buckle him in his <laughs> car and he would have to call me every hour on the hour to let me know he was okay and how the drive was. Mm -hmm. And I was just a wreck those seven hours when he was driving, I was so worried. Mm -hmm. it, so much, it just makes you appreciate them so much more. Like people are like, do you guys ever get sick of each other? Just like, no, yeah. never. Like, we know what it's like. Yeah, because no. we think of so the time when we didn't see each other every day or we couldn't see each other every day. And now we're just so thankful every day to be together. Like, I work from home now, he works from home. So we are literally together all, all the, the time. time. Yeah. <laughs> and we love it. Yeah. <laughs> Knew that I wanted to do it on the bridge for a while. I think that was the first detail that I had. Um, like anytime I'd go back to Kansas for visiting, we'd usually try to stop here or, I don't know. When he moved back to Arizona after graduating college, we came here and we sat here. Yeah. And we said goodbye. Um, I had bracelets for each of us that said, love knows, knows no, no distance. distance. Yeah. So we both would always wear those bracelets together and he'd be like, oh, my bracelet broke. It was like too worn. I was like, don't worry, I'll order you another one. <laughs> we wanted another one. I was fine the whole day, and then when she like, she was out running errands that day, and then when she came home and walked in the door, I was like, oh, now it's real. 
and I like got this pit in my stomach and then I was a nervous wreck. I was so nervous. Yeah. We left, so we left our house and the car was sparkling clean. I said, wow, the car looks really nice. <laughs> he said, took it to the car wash and I said, give me your best package you have. And then we drove down here, no radio, nothing. He was just yeah. staring straight ahead. He's like, how was your day? Tell me about it. And he was just talking really fast. I could tell he was pretty nervous. And then we pulled up here and there was uh, some young kids on the bridge. Their truck was parked here and Casey pulled up behind them and he's like, what are they doing here? I was really flustered at that point because I was hoping that no one would be here. And up here we were looking for our initials. We couldn't remember if we carved our initials in the bridge because we've been here so much. And we're looking all over. And then Casey got down on one knee. Then what happened? And then I had a speech planned out that I was going to say, and I was just so nervous. I forgot everything I was going to say. And I just blanked. <laughs> and I kind of stared at her for a little bit. Um, and then I just, it, it came back to me like, okay, you just got to ask her now. <laughs> so then I just, I said, Melissa, will you marry me? It's finally come, and we are so excited to finally celebrate this. Yeah. Like, We'll be together nine and three quarters years by the time we get married and all of these people have just been a part of it the whole time. The yeah. whole time. I think I would just say like thank you to everyone that's going to come to the wedding or uh, be a part of it. You know, thank you to your family. If your parents and your siblings have welcomed you just, just with open arms into their family. and Excited to celebrate. Yeah. <laughs>